I'm having Brexit pig still. Oh my gosh. It feels like so tight. So tight. Hey guys, I just pulled up to my doctor's office. I have a doctor's appointment uh, today. It's my 29 week appointment um, and I'm here solo. Robbie's at home with the kiddos as well as our newest ABA provider. So, so Gavin and her are doing the pairing right now. So I was able to come here by myself. It's been such a busy morning though with having that going on at the house and we're still finishing up in the baby's room, but I have an appointment, I'm here now, and um, I'm having so many Braxton Hicks on the drive over here. I was just getting so many and also feeling the baby move, so both at the same time, um, it's quite uncomfortable. They might notice it when I go in and see the doctor, but again, I don't think it's anything like labor-wise. I'm just like, I think I've just been so busy lately, like just physically just doing a lot of things that like my body's like, calm down, we're gonna contract. Calm down, or we're gonna contract. <laughs> they are on the ball today. I just got here and they had already called me back in. My shirts don't fit and I need to do laundry, so. Um. <laughs> My belly's just kind of like sticking out, poking out, and it's kind of funny because when I walk, I keep feeling like my tank top like rise up and I'm like having to like pull down, but then I pull down too much that it pulls down on like my top. Anyways, oh, I feel so rushed. Seven, but if you wanted to wait a little bit, boy, these turn into that. Okay. Hi. Hi, Belly. <laughs> I like it so cute. And the head's down the butt's up. Is it? It's easy to fill. Yeah. You're measuring. I'm going to call you measuring 30 right now. 30? How big were your first two? Uh, seven and seven six. Oh, good. Yeah. Yes. Um, before I came home actually I went by Target and I picked up the um, I guess it's like a welcome bag not box I know online it says like welcome box for like if you create a baby registry with them I haven't gone through it yet so I'll, maybe I'll have you guys kind of go through it with me so the doctor um, the only thing that she was kind of concerned about was the Braxton Hicks that I get which I told her I've been getting them for like the past weeks actually she's like do you get more than five in an hour and I said I don't know. I kind of feel like I do, but I like I've never really thought of it as like being like preterm labor, just because it's been for a couple weeks now that I've been feeling as many. But I feel it the most too when I'm like tired or like I've, we've been doing a lot, which is like this weekend we've been doing a lot. We've been moving a lot of things. It's very like physically active. I haven't really rested as much, which I should probably start doing more and more. Um, but. I'm gonna start, you know, just kind of laying down if I feel them. Really pay attention to how many I'm having. Um, Cause she said if you have five or more, just give her a call. So I'll have to like, I guess, just start paying more attention to that. Um, but overall, everything else was fine. Um, the baby's measuring great. My weight's great. Everything looked good. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what's in this bag. Um, maybe I'll use the chair right here. I wonder if this will help. Okay, I'm also having a little snack here because. I got home and I was like super hungry, so. So in here, package contains Pampers, Swaddlers, pack of baby wipes. Oh, and it comes in like a little coat bag, I guess. Hi, Basil. Hi, sweetie pie. It's not for you. It's not for you. <laughs> the dogs think of giving them a snack or something. This is like a little pouch. It's actually pretty cute. Here we go. Oh, a little tiny diaper. Did you guys see that? Probably it's a diaper. Travel pack, I guess, of wipes. And a bunch of coupons. Diapers from Up and Up. Oh, cool. I've been wanting to see about the, like, the baby baby diapers from Up and Up because I've used the Up and Up before for Logan. And I do like them. Um, and But I hadn't tried, like, the infant one, so I wasn't sure. I like it when they have the little line that tells you if they peed. Yep, wetness indicator turns blue when wet. They have it! So that's cool. Probably one diaper in there. Yeah. Oh no, two diapers, size one. Cool. Dr. Brown's reduces colic, spit ups, burping, and gas. 
little bottle in here. I've never used this brand. I usually just use the Evans brand, um, but I know a lot of people that use these, so uh, maybe we'll give this little sample a try. Oh, cool! This is a brand of pacifiers that I like. It's the MAM Focus. Let's see. It is a newborn cool and it's yellow so it's not boy or girl. I like that. Gavin liked the pacifier. Uh, Logan did not care for it so we'll see what this one chooses. Honest. Oh cool. We used Honest diapers with Logan. Oh I'm sorry with Gavin. So for Gavin I think for like almost two years we had like the uh, service where they ship the diapers to you like the diapers and wipes. But it got a little expensive and we weren't getting them as often as we really needed, so we just kind of stopped it. One diaper, eight to 14 pounds. Oh, diaper and wipes. Oh, there is a diaper and wipes. Oh, oh two diapers. <gasps> They're so little. This one's a panda. This one's the giraffe. That's cute. And then a package of the Honest wipes, which I actually really do like. Two disposable nursing pads and two breast milk storage bags. Cool. Can definitely use those. Some Avino Baby Daily Moisture Lotion. And then everything else in here is just coupons, I believe. Um, seventh Generation. We got Aquaphor. Aquaphor has a little things like a butt cream sample. Um, cocoa butter cream for stretch marks, which I've never used this brand, but won't hurt. That's all that's pretty much in there. Um, and then it came in like this little cute little like reusable tote bag, which is really cute. I don't know. So that's cool. Um, get a little starter items, I guess, little travel stuff. That'll be nice. Um, and I'll show you guys too. So we ended up, <laughs> we ended up putting the dresser in here. So we took the armoire out of here. It's in the garage. And then we have this, um, I kind of already started packing some stuff in here. Uh, I think in there, in there, and then I don't think that one really has anything. Um, but again, like I said, it's because we want to get rid of like all those baskets. Robbie's going to put some shelving up here, and then I don't know if I want to do anything here yet. But I'm going to sit down now on the couch, hopefully not get up for at least 30 minutes, and have my Cheetos and my drink. Cool. say hi? This? Hello. <laughs> I'm in it now. Yeah, There's you are. Robbie. There's Robbie. Up there time to time. People like them. <laughs> Start of the show. Oh, what do you want? Hey, those are my Cheetos. All right, guys, so I've been laying down for probably, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes straight. Um, I was having another Braxton hick in the doctor because she said just try to lay down and drink water. And then I read two online, like emptying your bladder, laying on your left side, and then just um, laying down to see if they go away. It's been... I don't know, I think it is like 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes that I've been laying here and I've had only one. So um, I think laying down has actually helped. So I'm not as worried now. The boys are already bathed and taking care of. Robbie's been really good today about, you know, attending to them. So I don't have to get up as much. And I've been feeling a lot of the baby move too. So just trying to, I don't know, I guess pay more attention. I should be paying more attention. I should be resting a little bit more. Um, I don't want to worry about like, going into preterm labor especially since like we just started like getting stuff together and you know moving stuff around like I don't want anything to happen quite yet because we're not ready so just taking it easy and just you know taking it a little bit slower just not doing too much not overdoing it um and just you know give it this little one some some little rubs see so my stomach's not as hard now earlier oh my god it was so hard but now it's like can actually like squish down so I think the Braxton Hicks are definitely starting to go away but anyways guys I'm gonna say good night I hope you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you guys at the next one ciao can you say ciao ciao